Welcome back to another video and this time around I just want to show you a quick little trick that I use to speed up my um, coloring process and that is basically applying flats with a Photoshop action. So as you can see I am not in Photoshop now because I do enjoy mixing up uh, Sketchbook Pro and Photoshop and I do like doing my lines in Sketchbook Pro but I do like coloring in Photoshop a little bit more and for that I also set up an action because in my previous job I had to color quite a bit and selecting everything with a selection tool just took me too much time but anyway let me speed up this part a little bit of the drawing process <music> so now we are in Photoshop let me open this file okay so the only thing that is a little bit annoying um, when you import files from a sketchbook they don't make a background layer so I make my own there you go line one okay so how would you go about coloring this one well you would make it a layer call it color you would go to the lasso tool here and you would start Maybe zoom in a little bit, take the away the sections, and then clickety clackety nicely within the lines, go around and select everything. I'm not going to be super precise, obviously you should be, and you have to stay nicely within the lines because you don't want your colors sticking through. And this usually takes quite a while, especially if you have several elements in the drawing. But in this case I make it simple for myself. And you can take away selection by just holding down Alt key and then clicking. And that's why I'm going to take away these parts here and then this part here. Alright, so now that I have the selection, all I have to do, I have this nice brownish foreground color. And you can fill in the foreground color by pressing Alt Backspace or Option Backspace on uh, Max. And background color is obviously command or control backspace. So now we have the nice, I uh, will call this line art layer. There we go. And the color layer. And now we can continue coloring and whatnot. So this wasn't, didn't take so long, but this would take quite a long time if you have several elements of, uh, of the drawing. So what I'm going to do is going to show you a shorter method that I set up for myself. Let me delete this layer. I go back to my line art layer. And I have an action set up, it's right here. Let me delete, this was a previous one, there we go. So my action is called fill with white. What I'm doing for that is I simply have to make a selection outside of the line art like this, and then I can press the execute action button. And bada bing, bada bang, you say nothing happened. Well, not quite. If you look here, I have a new layer called white. So if I take away my background layer, boom you can see that it is filled with white and these parts that shouldn't be filled are also filled but i can fix that easily by going back to my line art layer so clicking on the outside and then with alt no not with alt with shift adding these sections as well so everything that does is not supposed to be colored is selected now and now i simply go back to my actions fill with white execute action take away the background and there you go it's perfectly filled in with white so how does this work well, let me explain it to you so for those of you who don't know actions actions are simply recordings of whatever you're going to do so let me show you what I did before basically what I do I select on the outside right so I have to be on the line art layer and I make a selection and I start the uh, recording after I made the selection so the, whatever I do, the action is going to be applied to what's already selected. All right, so that makes make a new recording. I'm going to call it fill with 
background color this is, this is our action this is what our action is called so what I'm doing next is I'm going to invert the selection which is going to select and there's the inverse the shift control I so now everything is selected on the inside so basically my bench is selected the only problem is if I would fill this the color would come outside of the lines and I don't want that so what I do for that is I go back to my select I go to modify and I go to contract so I want all the selection to come a little bit together and I feel like three will work just fine for me here so I contract it by three pixels as you can see the selection is just on the edge of my line art and I do this because you also have thinner lines here and you don't want to go too much on the inside all right so now I have my selection uh, on the bench here what I'm doing now is making a new layer that is command shift n I'm going to call it uh, color in this case okay and I'm going to bring it one down that I do with command left bracket so you can see here the steps that it's recording it has an inverse it has a contract it has a make new layer it has move current layer down one and what I'm doing now is simply fill with the foreground color which or background color well I called it background color okay so then we'll do background color which is going to be what well, I filled with foreground and then just change the name easier that way and that's the foreground color which is the nice brown and I deselect it and then I stop my recording so as you can see I have this fill with background color let me see if I can rename this <laughs> well maybe not yes I can there you go so I'm just gonna name it foreground color so what are the steps that is doing whatever is selected is going to inverse it it's going to contract it it's going to make a new layer that is going to be put below the layer where I was working it's going to fill it with my foreground color and it's going to deselect it so let me do this again for you so you see how it works and I'm going to choose a, a green foreground color this time around so we have our line art I select outside of the lines I select my fill with foreground color action and I press execute boom beautiful green bench and just as before as you can see we didn't select the insides of the area we don't want so let me delete this color layer go back to line art outside click click so we have all the areas that we don't want color on selected now and simply execute there you go this is the fastest way I know and obviously you're still gonna have like small mistakes like this but then you can just take your lesser tool and delete these parts this comes from me drawing a little bit uh, dirtier but there you go this is a super fast way let me let me just quickly speed this up and just draw a couple of more things here right obviously these are not uh, some fantastic sketches because that's not what I went for I just wanted to have a couple of extra elements within the drawing uh, and now to show you the value of this so now I have a line art and instead of having to take the lasso tool and select each of them separately and add new selections no what I'm going to do is simply click where I don't want any color which means these areas and I'm simply going to go to the action we created fill with foreground color BAM since my foreground was black it all became black so let us fix that by giving it a nice bluish color for the foreground once again go to the line art layer select everything where we do not want color and then execute our action there you go everything is selected at once and what's also good if you can have all of these on separate layers so let me show you that as well so I go to the line art take this uh, let me switch to my poly not the polygon the simple lasso tool X V X oh sorry wrong layer X V and then I can you know I'll take this one away as well X V all right so we have 
one, two, and three elements. So go to my line art, click. I want the bench to be sort of a brown woodish color. That's my foreground color, execute. There we go. Then I go to this one, which is this. Uh, let's call it a trash bin. Let's make it yellow, like a nice, strong, but warmish yellow. Execute. Uh, this would be the toaster, should be like red. Nice hot rod red, which it's probably not, but doesn't matter. Execute. And then the third one should be just blue. I didn't have anything blue. Execute. There you go. This is how fast coloring can be. And then you have your uh, layer and color layer below it. Layer, color layer, and so on and so forth. So there you go. This is all I wanted to teach you this time. You can really set these actions up quite fast and easily for yourself. And they're going to help you save a lot of time if you have to work like this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and hope you learned something from it. Feel free to subscribe and like this video if you did. And uh, maybe also follow me on Instagram where I post quite on a regular basis. All right. See everyone next time. Bye bye.